Hi, this is Charlie with Personal Shooting Instruction. You can find me at personalshootinginstruction.com. You can email me at personalshootinginstruction at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash personalshootinginstruction. I hope you enjoy the video. What I'm going to show you today is that trigger locks are not as efficient when it comes to securing your firearms as a cable lock is. Here I have a Walther P22. The magazine is unloaded. The chamber is unloaded. I do have a trigger lock on here. I know the trigger lock is a little further ahead of the trigger, so it's not going to function. I bring the slide forward, insert the magazine. I still have access to the trigger, which makes this not a good trigger lock. I can still fire the gun, even with the trigger lock on here. I'm not a big fan of that. For revolvers, sometimes the trigger lock can work pretty well. This trigger lock prevents me from pulling the hammer back and having access to the trigger, which is what I need when it comes to securing my firearms. What I prefer instead of a trigger lock is a cable lock. The cable lock goes down through the magazine well on a semi-auto. You can bring the slide forward and the gun does not go into battery, which means it's not going to fire, which is very, very nice. For the revolver, you take the cable lock and insert it into the, map, the cylinder window and you cannot close the gun and it can't be fired. This is why I think that the cable lock is much more efficient when it comes to securing your firearms. Thanks for watching this video. Again, I'm Charlie with Personal Shooting Instruction. You can find me at personalshootinginstruction.com. You can email me at personalshootinginstruction at gmail.com and you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash personalshootinginstruction. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.